today's video, we're gonna be comparing blah, 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 blah. In this video, we're gonna be comparing the Mojo Butt Up Rippler against the Higdon Pulsator. Hi, you making folks, and welcome to the channel. Today, I'm out at my dad's pond where we're gonna go over those two motion decoys that I just showed you, show you how they work, tell you about how much they cost to see which one is right for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, throw a few decoys out in the pond. We're gonna throw those motion ones right in the mix and uh, yeah, stay tuned. It's a little warm out here for these waders. All right, guys, we're gonna start off with the Mojo Rippler. This one here is the uh, the butt up or the full feeder. I'm not sure exactly what they call it. They also sell this one as the, the full body uh, Mallard decoy, but pretty simple design. It's just your, looks like your typical butt up full feeder decoy. And right here, there's a little cap that unscrews that makes it watertight. They got a, an O-ring right here that'll seal once you tighten it all the way down. But you pull it off and all it is, it runs off of four AA batteries. It has a little motor in there with this little weight that when it spins, it makes the whole thing just shimmy shake and rattle, you know what I mean? So, but that's basically it, a real simple design. This is just a hollow body. You just put the batteries in, you stick it in, you screw this on like so. Just make sure it's good and tight so that O-ring will seal so no water gets in there. And then there's just a little button right here that you turn it on and she'll get to wobbling. Kind of a wide wobble when you got it out the water. When you put it in the water, it gets more of a tight wobble and it just makes a whole lot of ripples. And this is what she looks like in the decoys. So as you can see, we barely have any wind out here. Uh, if you look over at the far side of the pond, you can hardly see any ripples at all. You throw that in the middle, it does this little shake and it's putting ripples all the way around. And where the ripples hit the other decoys, it kind of makes them look like they're putting off their own ripples. So you just throw one of those right dead in the center, and it makes look, all four of those look like they're, uh, they're moving alongside of it. So there you go, that simple design. Make all your decoys around it, give them a little bit of motion, put a little bit of ripple on the water, because the last thing you want is that glass slick water and them ducks fly over and your decoys just look like a bunch of chunks of plastic sitting in the water. I paid uh, 30 bucks between 30 and 40 bucks on Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description below for both of these decoys, the Higdon and the, uh, the Mojo Rippler. So if you want to check them out, you can click on those links uh, in the description. All right, guys, before we get into the next one, if you're getting any value whatsoever out of this video, do me a favor and hit that like button for me and consider subscribing if you have it. Moving on. All right, folks, this here is the Pulson, the Pulson. <laughs> what I meant to say was. All right, guys, here is the Higdon Pulsator. This is a uh, Similar idea as the Mojo Rippler, except for this one uses a bilge pump to squirt water to so you get a good splash as well as the motion of the decoy of a duck uh, feeding. Quite a bit more expensive. This one was around 100, between 120 and 130 dollars on Amazon. Again, I'll leave those links in the description below if you want to check them out. But you know, it costs uh, that much for pretty good reason. When I, uh, I'll put them in the water, you'll see why. This one runs off of an internal battery. You can just charges, you plug the plug in here, you plug it into the wall, and uh, whenever you're ready to go throw them in the water, the plug of the bilge pump goes right here, and you'll hear it kick on once I turn it on. And this one has like a timer, so it'll pulsate a few times, two or three times, and then it'll stop, wait a little bit, and then it'll continue going. So let's get it in the water, check it out with the, uh, with the other decoys. So obviously the biggest difference with the pulsator is you got the water splashing around it. It still makes a bunch of ripples around it. And uh, you know, each decoy you can look has uh, its own little ripple effect as the ripples pass by them, making them look like, you know, they're giving a little bit of motion moving around some. But uh, this one gets a lot more attention from the air because you got that water splashing, you got some, uh, just a lot more movement. I was actually out here uh, yesterday evening at this pond and I watched some wood ducks fly in. I tried to get close enough to get some video of the, the, the hen feeding and man it looks just like that every, every time she'd go down and put that butt up in the air she'd splash with her feet and it looks I mean very similar to that so it's a very realistic looking decoy so that's pretty much how both of them look in the water uh, with the other decoys both of them do a great job uh, this one especially on calm days will work now on a good windy day 
This one probably won't benefit you as much, but you can still throw it out there as just a regular decoy. But when the wind's blowing pretty good and you got a bunch of ripples as it is, this one's probably not going to make that big a difference. However, this one, no matter how much wind's blowing, that splash and that, that shake in motion is definitely going to get some duck's attention. As far as battery life goes, these both uh, do pretty good. Both of these have been through uh, my last hunt. Uh, we were out there for quite a few hours and I haven't charged them yet and they were both working just fine just like they had a uh, fresh charge on them out in the water just now as y'all seen so to me both of these would be great in your arsenal if you can only afford one if you can only afford one I would go with this one probably because has the most versatility but uh, the good thing about these is they only cost about 30 bucks so you could get multiple ones you can probably get three or four for the price of, of this one but you know, I really do like this one. My buddy Spencer, who I hunt with most of the time, has another one of these. So we usually have two in the spread. And I'm actually thinking about getting, you know, a couple more of these just to spread out. That way, every decoy in the spread has a little bit of motion in it. Because motion is very important when duck hunting. In case you didn't know. But again, I will leave the links in the description below for both of these products. So you can pick them up on Amazon. Uh, like I said, this one's between 30 and 40. This one's between 120 and 130 both of them well worth the money that they cost so all right well that's uh pretty much it i think i hit on everything i wanted to hit on uh if i missed anything that you guys want to know leave that in the comments below and i'll get to you hope you guys found value in this video if you did make sure you hit that thumbs up let me know if you haven't hit that subscribe button consider doing so we do all kind of reviews unboxings uh we test some things out as well as a whole bunch of hunting and fishing vlogs so if you're into that sort of thing hit that subscribe button but again thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it until next time make sure you get outdoors do some hunting do some fishing try new things and make new memories